welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would just do a bit of a kind of weekend lazy vlog and a bit of a catch up with you guys. Um, I've got a lot more new subscribers recently so um, obviously I do show my face when I do kind of like the grocery hauls and cooking and stuff but I thought I'd just kind of say hi basically and thank you to you all for subscribing. I think I've got 1,550 of you now which is amazing. So yeah I hope you're all enjoying my kind of budget videos trying to keep things kind of a bit low spend. Um, so yeah I just thought I'd do a bit of a catch up. Um, got a few bits to sort of share we are going to hobby craft in a bit because the boys have got to make a carnival mask for their homework so we're going to go over to hobby craft and get some bits for that and also um it's archie's birthday next week so he's having some friends over for a little party so we're going to get some balloons and some like paper cups and stuff and i'll take you along just for a little look when we go to hobby craft um also i've been asked to try out some footwear from Fitville, which I'm quite excited about because they're for kind of people that have like any foot problems or joint problems and they're like super comfy. And um, because I've got cancer in my bones and a lot of my medication is kind of like, well, it basically put me in the menopause really early. I do get like bone pain and joint pain and stuff. Um, and they look really comfy, they're like cushioned and everything. So I'm gonna take Duke for a bit of a walk later and give them a bit of a test out. So I'll kind of show you those as well, um, just and, and give you my opinion of what I think of those. So health-wise things are going really well. Um, most of you know, if you've followed me a while, that I've got secondary breast cancer. Um, and I changed treatment a few months ago because unfortunately what I was on wasn't working and things started to go up again. So they swapped me and my scans I had a few weeks ago um, showed that I'm having a good response to the one that I'm on. Which is really good news because um, I don't actually feel too bad on it, a bit tired, a bit headachey stuff like that but not too bad really um, and I go every few weeks so it's sort of manageable I'm still at work and stuff so that's really good so that showed that my tumour markers have come down and um, most of the smaller tumours have shrunk um, there's still one that's a little bit stubborn in my liver but um, we're hoping that I'll carry on with this one for a bit longer that will kind of do the job so yeah we're keeping an eye on that but generally things are going well at the moment so that's really good it's a nice way to start the new year so just keeping everything crossed that um that continues for a while so yeah i'm back there on monday for blood and wednesday for treatment so it soon comes around it's every three weeks but it seems like i kind of go and then before I know what I'm back there again but yeah we're just enjoying a bit of a chilled weekend I always like to have a bit of a low-key one before I have treatment otherwise if I go in tired I'm then I feel worse so yeah just a really chilled one um like I say we're going to pop to hobby craft in a bit um and take the dog out and I'll test out this trainers and stuff and then um yeah I'll just kind of show you a bit of our weekend so I hope you guys are having a lovely weekend too and yeah I'll catch you in a bit what is this thing That's it's, some, it's for marbling oh. see if we can find and oh, we'll go to all the party bits These are quite cool, look, robotic. Anti-gravity anti mad legs. Oh, I like one of them. Oh, look, Grower Maze weather station. They're quite Ooh. cool, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, look. 
So we're just back from our little trip at Hobbycraft. I just thought I'd show you all quickly what we picked up. So Archie actually got a pottery wheel for Christmas and they've made some things out of clay. So we've got some of these acrylic paints so that they can kind of paint what they made over Christmas. They've made some like mugs and pots and um, butterflies and things. So we got those. I think they were five pounds. Um, maybe I'll just pop the prices on for you if you're interested. Um, so we got those. And then for their homework, they need to make a carnival mask. So um, we got some sticks to kind of put on the bottom of the mask so that you can hold it. And then to make it like super colourful, we got some like tie dye rainbow pom poms and some coloured feathers. Um, and then just some of this sort of thin stripy foam because we thought we could actually cut the mask shape out of the foam so it's like coloured background and then put the other bits on so it's like really colourful. So that's what we got for the homework. And then for Archie's birthday, little parties, having some friends over. So um, we got a spotty tablecloth. We got some balloons, just some happy birthday, oh no, let's party, and some plain ones, um, and some silver ribbon to sort of tie those up with, and then he chose blue for his plates and stuff, so we've just got blue plates, napkins, and cups. Um, I did say did he want to have a look somewhere else for like some gamer ones or anything, but he said he wanted just plain blue ones, so we got those. And then the last thing we've got, which we nearly actually walked out without paying for, didn't we? Because who was carrying this for mummy? Henry, yeah. What is it, Henry? Um, um, a treasure chest piñata for Archie's birthday, and we're going to fill it up with loads of sweeties. Yeah, you're going to help me, aren't you? We're going to put loads of sweeties in there and then bash it open, aren't we? Yeah, and I'm going to bash it open so, so hard. Oh, wow. So we've got a treasure chest. Because normally we buy, you know, like the traditional, like, donkey ones, but Archie actually feels bad because it's a donkey. He doesn't like hitting it. So he chose a treasure chest. So um, it was £10, I think, which is quite pricey, but they're all about that price. And, um, and also the sweets will like, be treasure because it's a treasure chest. Yeah, that can be the treasure, can't it? Yeah. Edible treasure. So that's what we got from Hobbycraft. Not too bad. Uh, just the bits we needed for the homework and the party. And then the only thing we got extra was just these acrylic paints because I had been promising them since Christmas that we'd get some. So they'll probably do a little bit of painting their pottery later. So yeah, that's what we picked up. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you guys these trainers that Fitville very kindly got in touch and asked if I would like to try out. And so I've actually got two pairs. So these are kind of like your normal kind of sports kind of trainers. Um, and then also I've got a, more of a kind of walking pair. Um, so in the box you do get this kind of how to love your feet. And it gives you lots of information. So I'll give you a quick flick through the booklet. Basically they really focus on kind of foot health. So if you have any kind of foot problems or joint problems. If you suffer from um, kind of getting um, foot pain or sort of ingrown nails, blisters. Um, this is a great one because I do actually get um, neuropathy from chemotherapy, so where you get like numb fingers and toes. Um, so these are really great because they're a wide fit, but also you can see they've got quite a high sole where they've a cushion in the sole. Um, and I, I tend to find that really flat trainers kind of make my feet really ache. So um, these look really great. They've got like a cushion in the sole and a high instep so they look like they're going to be really really comfy um so yeah it gives you lots of information in the booklet so it also gives you info about how you can kind of keep your feet healthy so like hot foot bath foot massages scrubbing like hard skin um stretching and also they're a wide fit so i would say that my feet aren't particularly wide they do a wide and then like a double wide. So I just went for the normal wide because I didn't want them to be too big. So these, I'm size five and these are a five wide. Um, and I have slipped them on and they feel perfect. So yeah, they do a wide um, fit. So you don't have to like squeeze your feet in. So if you do suffer with any kind of foot pain or anything. And then also they're like really grippy. So they've got like non-slip 
soles um they've got stability support like i said shock absorbing pad and they're made to fit so um that's why they've got such a high heel because there's lots of bits and bobs in the um heel there that kind of cushion and um shock absorb so if you're walking or running or anything you don't get any of that kind of foot pain which is really good because um like i said earlier i do find that since having my treatment i do get some kind of joint pain and stuff so really looking forward to trying these ones out so these are normal trainers like i said they've got a wide range of different trainers available on their website and they kindly asked if i'd like to try two pairs so i went for a normal sports pair which i thought would be really good for any kind of exercise um and then i went for these walking ones and you can see they're really nicely packaged they come in like these little bags um and these are more of a kind of like vela um kind of velvety which will be really good. My husband wears like Salomons when he goes walking and I don't ever really have anything that's like appropriate for walking. So you can see these ones are a bit more of a high top, um, a bit more of like a walking and they do feel really sturdy. So they're gonna be good like ankle support there. Um, you could get all different colors. Um, this one did come with a booklet as well. So I'm sure it's sort of similar. Um, but yeah, these are the walking ones. So it just says there that they're lightweight. Um, they do slip resistant walking shoes, lightweight running shoes, tennis shoes, snow boots, slippers and sandals with arch support, which would be really good for the summer, and also casual shoes. So um, you can get a range of colours. So I opted for the... Um, grey and pinky ones and then just the black ones so yeah they all seem to have this kind of two-tone sole and um, these ones have got the orange these ones have got a bit of branding on the back which i'm not sure if i'm that keen on the branding these ones don't have have that on there they just have the little symbol which i think i prefer um but you know each to their own the orange is quite nice on there as well so yeah, so on their booklet, they have lots of information about how you can follow them online. So we've got Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. So obviously give them a look. It's um, Fitville on YouTube and The Fitville on Instagram. Um, so yeah, really a, a wide range, lots of different colours. They do men's shoes as well. So worth a look if you do suffer with any joint pain or... Um, foot problems or anything like that and like I say they've got a wide range depending on what it is you kind of wear your trainers for um so yeah really impressed I'm going to give those a test in a minute and um, take Duke for a walk and just test them out and see how comfy they are and I'll just hop back on and let you know how comfy they are um did you hear me say walk Dukey boy Duke's come here we're gonna go for a walk aren't we so yeah, let's give them a test. So just back from giving Duke a little walk, I've given both of them a test out, as you could see in um, that footage. 
and they are really really comfy i think for me these ones the normal trainers are a bit comfier than the black ones because they are really lightweight um and they don't go as high up on the ankle whereas i find these ones are a bit on my ankle bone but um really comfy as in like they're not flat they're not like narrow on the toes and they are these ones are lightweight as well um but these ones for me were like super comfy so i think these would probably be my go-to unless we were like walking in a forest or something so yeah i'm really impressed with those so if you fancy having a look i will leave the website link down below they have very kindly given me my own link and a discount code so i'll also leave that in the description box below for you and if you fancy having a look and if you did want to order anything obviously use the code to save yourself some money um they were locked in the sale and stuff when i had a look so yeah you might be able to grab a bargain but yeah i'm impressed with those so thank you so much to fitville for asking me to give those a try um so yeah, that, that's quite exciting. I've got some new comfy shoes now to wear. everyone so i just thought i'd hop on just to end the vlog here and say thank you for watching um yeah just a really chilled weekend we've just been pottering around um but yeah it was a nice little trip over to hobbycraft and the boys had fun making their carnival masks um and we're just gonna chill out and start getting ready for um uh, baths and bed and stuff so yeah i'll leave the vlog here but um thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed spending a lazy saturday with us um yeah and i'll see you in another video if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the button because i'll be back with more foodie content very soon take care guys